Hello children, the topic which we are going to discuss today is water, nature's magic. So we all know our earth is also known as the blue planet. The reason we call this earth a blue planet is due to the presence of water. So water is a unique substance which is only present in earth and which only makes the earth blue in solar system. Now this water present is very important substance for all living beings. For plants as well as animals if water is not present then plants won't be able to make their own food by the process of photosynthesis and this water is very much important to human being as well as animal in order to quench our thirst even if we try to drink many substance like soda coca-cola and all only a glass of water can quench our thirst so water is very important that way not only for that it is also used for cooking, food and all and uh, for washing, for cleaning and as you can see out here, here it has given some of the functions of water which are important for human body. It allows blood flow, it controls and regulates blood pressure, it also eliminates waste products from your body through sweats and urine. Now it helps to maintain body temperature, that means if you are feeling very hot, you can feel cool by sweating so that means due to the release of water from a body you will be feeling much cooler and very some important thing will be for transportation of substance in your body water can be used now we'll try to see some of the sources of water now the main main sources of water is your rain water now rain now in earth Rainwater is the like in, in order to get water, rainwater is the only source, and water which is uh, drinkable is known as your potable water. Although we know 97% uh, water is present abundantly, I, um, one third of the uh, I mean, three fourth of the total world is covered with water, but still, those water are not useful for us not fit for drinking but only a few portion of water are fit for drinking which we get through rain now one of the source is surface water now surface water are those water as the name says which are present in the surface just like your river lake those are the substance which are present in the surface your streams and all which you see those are your surface water and another one is the underground water which is present under the ground as you can see in the diagram so this portion this portion as you can see water is present below the ground so all the water after the rainfall it gets accumulated near the bedrock so bedrock is the layer of rock which is present underneath the soil so once water get, uh, once uh, there's a rainfall water sweeps sweeps uh, underground below the soil and it gets accumulated in the bedrock this water can also be known as the aquifer and the portion and the layer as you can see in the diagram the level of water is known as the water table so uh, this water can be taken out through hand pumps and all and wells which we have in Merik we have hand pumps out there so that means we are collecting we are taking out water which are present underground so this this is how we get the underground water then we have some of the processes so very important process is evaporation so what usually happens in evaporation is it is the way with the help now very important topic is evaporation so as you can see the word evaporation we are the definition of the word evaporation means turning of liquid water into water vapor through the presence of heat as you can see an equation is given where water when supplied with heat is converted to water vapor now this water vapor is the same water but it is in gaseous form now the factor of affecting the evaporation so uh, temperature surface area humidity and wind also affect evaporation so if temperature increases evaporation also increases so evaporation is very high in summer during the summer time surface area so while drying your clothes it's because of the technique called evaporation your clothes are able to dry so if you uh, 
spread your clothes properly your clothes will dry faster that means surface area is playing a role out there humidity so humidity is the amount of water vapor in the air so with humidity evaporation decreases and with wind speed also evaporation increases so with the increase in wind speed that's why at night time whenever you are drying your clothes outside even in night time because if the wind is blowing with that your clothes are able to dry now next come condensation the condensation is a process in which water vapor is converted back to liquid your your water so uh, sometimes you have you you might of you might have observed this phenomena like if you are taking a very cold drink or chilly drink you are, if you are taking it out from the fridge and you are keeping it there uh, you are keeping it outside for a while after sometimes you observe water droplet in outside your glass you might be you you might have observed it uh, uh, for you might have observed it sometimes now the reason for the formation of water droplets is due to condensation so what usually happens so when you take out any chill drink or any cold drinks from the fridge the drink is very much cold so we all know water vapor is around us so once those water vapor comes in contact with this cold glass they will convert in by the process of condensation they will convert into liquid and that's how you see water droplet in the glass now next one is water cycle so what for water cycle we'll see this diagram so in, in water cycle all these processes are involved transpiration evaporation condensation and precipitation so usually what happens uh, during the summer day all the water is converted to gas through evaporation and water vapor are and uh, slowly water vapor are rise uh, rises into the atmosphere and not only that by the process of transpiration also we are getting water from plants now once this water vapor uh, now once this water vapor are collected through transpiration and evaporation they combine and move they combine and move they combine and when they mix with dust particle they form a uh, cloud like substance so once they reach some colder area they will by the process of condensation they'll be falling down as a rain and some in some cases it might also fall in uh, just like it might also 